Tales from 4chan. The 28th one. I'm in the hospital because one of my friends just had a baby. I thought it would be a fun idea to try and weigh myself on one of the baby scales and the thing just shut down and broke. I googled the brand and it's just like a, th a 30k piece of equipment. I'm just sitting here in this empty room and nobody has checked yet. What, what do I do? I'm, I'm terrified. Be me, have cuckold and humiliation fetish. Uh, go to prostitute. She spends the entire time telling me how many guys she fucked and how small my penis is. She tells me that she lets guys with big dicks fuck her for free and without a condom. After a few minutes, I go limp. She laughs at me and tells me to leave after only 20 minutes when I paid for the hour. Go home and realize I, I never told her I had a humiliation fetish. She just treated me like that on her own without me asking. Preston asked me to fuck him. Say no, I don't swing that way. Ah, okay, I'll bring it up later. He asks again later. Clearly say no. Okay, let's get to it then. Drops his pants and bends over. I'm forced to fuck this guy. Each thrust he fills my quest log with another shitty Minuteman quest. This terrifies me. How to prevent wife from being fatty fit. She's slowly gaining weight and is still hot, but I fear it won't stop. Try to subtly mentally condition her towards a healthier lifestyle. Like when she's about to eat some shitty sugary treat, blow a handful of chili powder into her eyes. Or if you notice she's been sitting in the same spot for more than an hour, blow a handful of chili powder into her eyes. If she does something good like go to the gym, reward her by refraining from blowing chili powder in her eyes for a whole day. Pro tip, you're going to want to fill your pockets with chili powder every morning so you don't have to keep running to the pantry to grab handfuls. Be me, chilling in my bitchin' horse and wagon carrying my various herbs and body parts for research. Some asshole Templars pull up, not this shit again, dot oil on canvas. Call me a nerd and make fun of my mask. How is the mask stupid? The mask is the best part of being a doctor. A couple of the bucket heads are coughing pretty bad. It is time to do my duty. My doctoral duty. Tell them that I can cure them of their sickness. Grab a bunch of shit from the back of my wagon. Grind it all together. Tell them to put it into all the holes in their body. All the holes. They totally believe it. They start shoving the concoction in their assholes. They complain of burning. Tell them that means it's working. Leave. Go back to chilling. I am a doctor. Be me. Strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Be jogging through the park at night in my tight yoga pants because hashtag teach men not to rape. Carrying my anti-rape cube with me to protect me from white male rapists. You're running behind me. Look around and see it's a white, white male. Start running faster. His white privilege allows him to run faster than me. He's almost cut up with me. Trip over my feet and fall flat on the ground. Realize I'm about to become a member of the one in three club. Silently pray to Sate to work in for help. The white terrorist stands beside me and asks, Are you okay? What, what is this? Why are you carrying this metal thing? I try to scream but already have PTSD and can barely speak. He helps me up to my feet, actually touching me without my consent. Well, I hope you're okay, he says and jogs off. Uh, I'm fine. Go home and he ice cram and blog about how I was raped yet again by the patriarchy. Girl says that she wants to watch a movie. Thinks she wants me to take her. Ask her if she wants to go. She says she'd love to. Watch movie in complete silence. Journey home, we comment about it. I, I stand there awkwardly as I drop her off at her door. Don't know what to do. Blurt out, so we fucking or, or what? She goes in and never talks to me again. This is probably just a leftover from my heavy drug days, but when I go to take a dump, I touch the bathroom counter walls, toilet tank, etc., just so I'm sure that I'm in the bathroom. I've always had a fear of taking a dump while tripping because I thought, what if I'm just imagining I'm in the bathroom, but I'm actually just shitting on a chair in someone else's living room? LSD. Take off my pants. Become one with music. Rebirth. Grab a new bottle of conditioner. Crawl into my blankets. Cover myself in conditioner. Put my fingers in my ass. Becoming reborn as a new, genderless being. The next evolution of mankind. Covered in conditioner. Somehow make it out of my room in front of the fish tank. I have two cats. Somehow the cats symbolize yin and yang. Shiver there for hours, contemplating two sides of many things and everything. The fish tank is a container of my sins. Break the fish tank. Hundreds of gallons of water and glass everywhere. Cats going nuts. Cats nibbling and killing the already dying fish. The cats are gods, eating away my sins, and I've, I've broken the vessel fish tank that holds all of mankind's sins. I'm being reborn. Twelve hours later, regained myself, naked, brush handle in my ass, slut written on my stomach in my mother's lipstick, 
fuck me written all over everywhere else. Somehow parents didn't wake up. Take a shower, clean myself up, parents wake up, blame it on the cats. Holy shit. That was a ride. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos there, also things, and if you want to watch more tales from 4chan, click in the top right hand corner. If you want to watch a video that has nothing to do with my channel whatsoever, click in the bottom left hand corner. If you want to buy shirts and shit, that's in the top left hand corner, and I also have a Patreon because I'm a piece of shit, and that's in the bottom right hand corner. Alright, bye. See you with another fucking 4chan video, and uh, let me check my uh, watch here. Uh, like three months? I don't know, fucking whenever I get around to it.